today i will teach you about the ip how to create a custom ip in vivado so already some ips are already predefined there in the library so if you want your design as a your custom ip you can create it in vivado so today we will see about that so i am doing a n bit up down counter and i want to make that as a custom ip so before that i have to create a project so my name of the project is n up down Doing next i have to create uh, my module name simply giving counter so there is a constant file in my program because i am writing in the sequential i have to make a clock as a constant file so i am giving some file name for the constant so i am selecting the board as a board so now we have to write a program for n bit up down counter and we have to write a con constant to the clock also <coughs> so we know that n bit up down counter mode we will select as a mode mode if it is zero means up counter mode one means down counter so before that it should be work on clock so i am writing the inputs first is clock then reset because we are writing code for the resetable loadable up down counter and bit so it is a and bit so we have to write a parameter for it and giving parameter n is equal to 4 okay so here maximizing so here reset and load so when there is a load that means we are giving some data to the um uh, to the load load means output you should come to output so i have to have a data in data in of how many bits as n bit n bit n minus n minus one down to zero so this many of data bits should be there as to force in load so next is mode mode is a single bit mode is either 0 or 1 so I write mode here so here that is output output it should be in reg type and n minus 1 down to 0 so we will count up to n minus 1 down to 0 if it is 4 the parameter is 4 so it is a 3 bit counter it will count up to 3 0 1 2 3 it will count it is a counter so it is a um, 3 down 0 that means it will be a 0 to 3 means it is a 4 bit it will count up to 16 so it will be 2 power so if you want a 2 bit counter you have to put um n is equal to 2 so it will come to bit counter so 0 to 2 it will be 4 it will come up to counts up to 4 okay up to 3 it will count 0 to 3 that means 4 counts 
okay here n minus 1 is my uh, count value so I am um, I am doing in reset so here so here yeah, the output should be in rich type because we are writing in the always block so it will be yeah <laughs> it will be a uh, reg type always so now so if you want a 3 bit counter it will be n is equal to 3 3 bit counter n is equal to 4 4 bit counter it will be as an as like as n so it the data also should be in the same size of the count that is to remember so always at pause edge clock we are writing a synchronous code so there is no asynchronous thing in the sensitivity list if reset reset what should be my count value should be zero else if there is a load my count value assigns data in so data in will go directly goes to count then onwards it will count will be increase okay then else if if it is not there it will check the mode if it is mode is high we said that it is a decrement down counter so count value will reduce by one else count value increase by one okay so and that is a program about the count counter it is n here it is n bit so the data in is n the count will be n minus 1 down 0 so if it is reset it will be 0 always the count value if it is load in the data in is uh, given to the count thereby if it is they selected the mode it will decrement or increment depend upon the mode mode 0 here we are cast a up, um, up counter and mode 0 mode 1 is work as a down counter Okay, once we return the code, so we have to save. I save the code perfectly. Okay, then run synthesis. So it will take a time for synthesis. After synthesis, we have to uh, create a <coughs> new IP from the tools after synthesis only we have to create the new custom IP about our code so IP will contain have our code new custom IP will contain have contain our code wait for the synthesis run Now the synthesis is completed you can see from here 
so design runs the census is completed don't go for the implementation not necessary so go to tools create a and package new IP click that one it will come here so package on current project because we are working you know, we are uh, want that our current project has IP so package your current next include XCL files it is a default you have to don't change anything so and click and I finish So here um, it is an identification of your IP. This name is counter. I am giving and bit of counter. So display name is counter. I am writing this is not necessary to change you can write anything so n upon non counter when uh, giving my name so here compatibility uh, which version C8 near your um, IP should uh, support uh, <coughs> the Xilinx boards so not necessary to change this also file groups these are the um, like synthesis after synthesis what to uh, up to where should be should be available for the synthesis or not like that it will be so custom parameters are the like uh, number of values n is equal to these are the normal parameter requirement so here it is the ports uh, whatever available output on input ports so assigning memory it is not your memory um, thing so no need so customize UI so this is the your pin diagram so I am maximizing so your IP will be look like this output so I am packaging here click package IP so once it get finish okay go to normal then go to create block design so here our block diagram is okay so you have to check your um, IP is created or not it is already showed that it is successfully created your IP but you are cross verifying with create block diagram because the block diagram will contain your custom IPs custom IPs and the actual default IPs also <coughs> so here this is the um, uh, placing of uh, um, IPs block diagrams so here I am adding one block so add IP so I am typing this act as a counter check any so I double click it so now it is gone so actual this is the my IP so this is the way it have the clock reset and it is a high reset no, normal active high and load everything is active high and more so this is the data in to load the data so this is the output so in this way you have to create your custom IP so thank you